Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we're going to build a little prototype board for a GPS. The GPS is going to be running off the UART that is located on the J3 headers of the Jetson. When the signal comes off of the Jetson, it's at 1.8 volts. The GPS requires 3.3 volts for its signal logic. So we're going to add what is called a logic level converter or level shifter that will convert the 1.8 volt signal to 3.3 volts. This is from Adafruit. This will take the low level and convert it up to a higher voltage. So let's zoom in a little, a little and solder this puppy on. In the tip. You can see why I am a software person and not a hardware guy, because I cannot solder. Here's our GPS module. Took the liberty of soldering some headers on it already, so you don't have to sit through that again. Um, let's see, so let's, it's kind of upside down. This is the high voltage side, so we'll put it on here like this. Move it over one, move it over two. That yeah, looks good there. And I'm short a few hookup wires, so I just make up a couple here. One thing that makes life much easier is to have some good wire strippers. Highly recommend that you go out and get a good set. I'll leave a link to this particular model. I like it a lot. Okay, so this is a 1.8 volt rail. 
This is the 3.3 volt rail. These are what they call rails, which is kind of the idea of the power runs down this strip right here, and there is an associated ground plane. So I'm going to hook up the power from 1.8. A little long, but it will have to do. Then we'll bring in a ground, which is here, set up to the ground. This is the same ground. move this up one. You now this is what we really want to do. We want to take the ground here and bring it over here and then we can put this baby in. wire up the power. It's going to come off of the power, 3.3 volt power here. Take the ground. Get up to the ground. Okay, we'll replace this. So this is why you like <laughs> protoboard is you can move stuff around when you make mistakes. This really isn't that hard. I'm just bumbling. Try this again. Then, there we go. So then we're going to go with white as our RX. And our transmit or TX is going to be green. take our plus voltage here which will drive the board it also has an associated ground we'll take this first level and use it for our receive Green will be transmit. And then ground is this one. Ground rail. So after you wire these things up, you want to go over them pretty closely and make sure that you have everything connected the way that you want it to be. Let's hook up the Jetson to our a little prototype board. This side over here is the low voltage and this is the high voltage. So I'm going to take the ground. I'm going to plug that in to the ground rail. The ground is on J3A1 pin 9. The 1.8 volt is on J3A1 pin 3. So that's going to go to our low voltage side. These are just hookup wire. 
that I stripped off the ed ends of a little. For the 3.3 volts, this is J3A1 pin 16. Plug that into the power rail. The ground rail goes from this ground on the Jetson down this rail, then it hops across to the other ground rail. So it's all running off the same ground. Now I'm ready to hook up the transmit and receive lines for the UART. The trick here is that they're crossed from what they come off of this device. So this receiver will go to the transmitter and vice versa. So I'm going to hook up J3A2 pin 68, which is transmit. I'm just going to match that up with this white wire, which is the transmit from the other. And then the green wire is J3A2 pin 65 and it matches up with the transmitter from the GPS system. So it's a little messy but it's more for film sake than anything else. Let's fire it up and see what happens. So you can see that there's a flashing LED. That's always a good sign. There isn't a smoke. That's always a good sign too. What the GPS is doing right now is searching for satellites to link up to, to synchronize with. While it does that, we can install some software. The GPS has hooked up with the satellites now and has synchronized. This little light blinks about every 15 seconds or so as the indicator. We can actually read the data that's coming out of the GPS. There are three UARTs on the, the header board. They're designated as TTYTHS and the number. This particular UART is THS1. So I can just print out what's coming across the serial line. So let's turn on GPS D. This turns on the daemon. And we're ready to look at our satellites. This is a graphical representation. of where we are in relationship to the satellites. 
So you can see that we're using five different satellites to get our location. Another interesting thing about GPS is that we can also use it as a real-time clock. The clocks on the satellites are, have to be very accurate and we can read their information. Therefore, we can get a very precise time.